Hello, this is Dominating Drew, and today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial about how to make media keys on your keyboard if it didn't come already with media keys on it. I actually have a mechanical keyboard. It's Cherry on XP. It was $39 after a mail-in rebate, which if you know anything about mechanical keyboards, that's a very good deal. The only problem was that it didn't have any media keys built into it. But it's not really that big a deal because you can make an auto hot key, an auto hot key script pretty easily to add media key functionality to it. Obviously to do this you'll need auto hotkey and to get that just Google it. It's a pretty self-explanatory installation. If you're still having trouble with it then you can probably find a guide somewhere else for help in installing it. So once you have it installed just right click say new auto hotkey script and I'm going to name it media keys. Enter then just edit this, or you could have just made a new file, and like a text document or something, and then just rename the extension .ahk, I think. But anyway, you can delete all the stuff that was in there. Now, I have a script right here. I made it. it you, you hold Control shift alt and press a certain key, and it will send a media function. So, if I do Control shift alt left arrow key, then it will send media previous. But if you're having trouble understanding this, auto hotkey is pretty much just a scripting language. And you can make scripts do all kinds of cool things with it. But a really simple task that you can do with it is if you press a key, it will send an action. So, say you wanted to do, once you, when you press the key A, then you do two colons, then the action. Send actually happens to be an option, or an action. So I could do send and then a key like volume up. And then I'm not sure it capitalization matters, probably not, but so that would just be once I press the A key, it will send volume up. You can send any key you want, even if it's not on your keyboard. And you can also do combinations of keys. So the these characters right here are actually control shift and alt. Because you can't really type control or anything, so that's just what they use. So basically, this is just a very simple line of code that will send A, and then when you press A, it will send volume up. So anyway, I have this script right here. It, if you want to use this, that's fine. But if you prefer not to press Control Shift All and want to do a different hotkey in, in F10, F11, and 12 then you can look at this documentation right here. I'll leave a link to it in the description. It's pretty much just all the keys in auto hotkey, so you can do whatever you want. You can make any hotkey you want to do this. If control shift alt and then F10 or something is already taken, or you just want to do something else. And one more thing, once you do this, you can just save it, and then you can go back to it and run it. I'm not gonna run it, you can just say run script. And then, it will run. I'm not going, but I'm not going to run it because I already have the same script running. So I'm not sure what would happen if I run both of them. But you can also do compile script, and this will convert it into a .exe file for Windows. Right here. That way, you actually don't need Auto Hotkey installed on your computer, so you could use this on any computer. And one last thing, you can go to your Start menu, All Programs, Startup, right click open then you can drop that in there either the exe file or the ahk file if you have auto hotkey install i'd actually make a shortcut to it to put it in here first so just if you put that in your program style, file folder or something then just make a shortcut and drop the shortcut in here and then it will automatically open when your computer turns on so hopefully you can have media key functionality now, even if it wasn't included with your keyboard. Hopefully this was a informative video and you liked it. If you did like it, a like would be appreciated and also a subscription would also be appreciated. Thank you for watching.